Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. I woke up to this view as usual, now it looks a bit more a bit more summery. The weather has changed a lot the last few days, so now it's actually warm. Warmer, it's not super warm. Uh, but this week we have a lot of center mile meetings, so we have people from Portugal where we have like all the production and everything they're flying here like all the designers we have a new designer we have hired so before I used to do everything <laughs> design wise but I haven't studied that so I just did like what I like and you know now we're doing it a bit more professional so if I have an idea the designer can actually get it into paper and like the details I want and stuff so that's great very excited so this week we are all hanging out like having a bunch of meetings strategy, blah blah blah, everything you can imagine. So that's what we're doing this week and I thought you guys get to come along. I'm not gonna show you too much but you get to come along anyways. So this is my, I don't know when I started wearing all black outfits but of course I'm wearing Saint Normal. Maybe this is also Saint Normal coming. Uh, and then I have just a skirt from Nelly, an old belt, I don't even remember it from, and shoes from Nelly. Okay, let's go. So this is the spot where we're doing all the meetings. So we rented this place. It's like five minutes from our house, but uh, yeah, very excited. Let's go. I didn't film that much in the meeting because it was a lot of future stuff, so <laughs> couldn't film too much because I don't want to spoil it. And it was non-stop. It was non-stop. But now we're back home with these guys and Leia and Leon just styled themselves. Can you show your outfit, mister? Are you happy with it? Are you happy with your outfit? Yeah? Very good. It looks super cool. Leia, do you want to show your outfit? She styled herself completely alone. Oh, no, you look like a crazy person. There you go. We go for a dress and a skirt over the cute socks that Leon decided, and then the vans. It's a great combo, Leah. I love it. Mm -hmm. And now they want to go outside. It's seriously like summer outside. Oh, I mean, it's finally warm. The last uh, few weeks, it's been so cold. Like it has been sunny, but it's been so so cold. So yeah, this is very nice. Mm. Okay, now I guess it's playtime. And then I'm gonna show you something very fun that you guys love and keep asking me about. So I will show you that soon. I'm just gonna go play a bit with the kids. Okay, inside again after a little playtime. But here we come to one of my favorite collaborations. And you guys ask me probably at least a few times a month I get this question if I have another code for this company and it is once upon the photo books that I am completely obsessed with. I can show you here just so you see how it looks like this is one cabinet this is all photo books so this is a little disclaimer that you do get obsessed this is only like half if even half of my books because the rest are still getting shipped here from Cyprus so I have a lot more and it's so much fun. It's the best way to save memories. So I make photo books for every year. For the kids I make like one each year. I've done for like the different outfits I've had. I did for the Casa Castle house in Spain, like the before and after. There's so many ways to make books and to just sit and look through these books. It's such a nice way to save memories in a book instead of just having them in your phone or in your computer because those they will just disappear, trust me, I know. And it's just such an easy way to um, make a really nice book, a perfect gift to someone if they have their birthday or like Christmas or whatever. And it's just, oh, I, I don't know how to explain how much I love Once Upon. You guys probably know by now because I've been raving about them for a few years now. So the last book I made, let me place you somewhere. So the last book I made was this one for Leia. So because she's now two years, so then I did the Leia one to two years. And it's just like all the favorite memories, the memories I want to keep, the memories I want to remember, the memories I just 
want her to see when she gets older. And it's just so, I can't explain enough how easy it is. So you have their app, uh, once upon, and then here you have like the books I've created. So you have all the books here. And then it's just so easy to just click on it and then you just add pages, you add photos, you can drag them around, you can have like a big photo on a full spread or you can have up to six photos in each uh, frame or like page spread. And you can have up to 200 pages now. I think in the beginning you could have 100 pages, but now they have up to 200 pages. And most of you ask which one I go for, and I go for their classic, the big one, with the silk matte paper, because I just, the finish and every, it feels so luxurious. And I can't wait to have like a bookshelf with just like pfft, all of them. Like 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, you know, and then like all the years for the kids. I remember when I was younger, when I was came home to my mom and I was like, oh, I looked at all her old photo albums from when I was a kid. Just gave so much memories back. And you remember those moments better when you see an actual photo. And I can't tell you enough how much I love this. <laughs> I've gotten so many of my friends and family to create this and they're just as happy about it as I am. And it's so easy to use the app, as I showed you. Anyone can do it. And then you can also do photo books together. So you can have like a family book, or let's say you're going on a girl's trip, then all you girls can be in this book, so you can add photos at the same time, and then you have the book ready. You know, so you can be more people, you can do like collaboration books, so several people can do it together. Which I also think is a super fun way to do a book. And the design is just so minimalistic, so it works in everyone's house. You can have a small photo, you can have a big photo, you can have like a vertical photo, you can have however you want, but just the text here on the side is just so classy, so it works in every home, in my opinion. And what I also love is that they have multiple printing factories, so they will ship the book from wherever it's closest to you, so it's not just like one printing house that ships all over the world, they have several ones, so they will ship from wherever it's closest to you, which I also think is amazing. So I don't only love the product, I also love the brand and what they stand for, and how easy it is to use, and how fun it is to use, and if you ever give a book like this to someone, trust me, I've done it, and the face and the like how happy they get, because this is so personal, and you will have this for the rest of your life. So really, really recommend trying it. I've done so many books and it's just such a fun process. And the kids also love to sit and look through this. So I hope I got my message out to you if you follow me. I don't think I've ever talked about Once Upon here on Inst or on YouTube. Maybe I have. I know I've talked about it several times on uh, Instagram and you guys seem to be as obsessed with it as I am. So yeah, it was time to talk about it here too. So the code YANI25 will give you 25% off and it is valid for a week. So I would start making my photo book now if you want to make one. You could do it in a day, no problem. But I prefer to have a few days to sort the photos, create the book and then look through it. And do I want to make any changes? Do I want to add a little text to every photo or to every page? Or do I just want to go with photos? So yeah, I would say start now and try it out. And don't forget YANI25 for 25% off for a week. So yeah, check it out. And thanks once upon because I love working with you. So I'm super happy you guys still want to work with me. Okay, now I am gonna wash the car actually. I do that a lot as you probably know by now. Today I actually think I'm gonna just wash it here at home. First I'm gonna put this in the photo book cabinet. You see we even have a photo book cabinet. I love it, but I think it's getting kind of full. I even did this, like the pregnancy book, but then I did a smaller version. I will have to try to squeeze this in here. I think it's the last book and then I have to tr start with a new... There we go. My favorite cabinet. Okay, uh, let's go and wash the car.
what a day. Now the car is clean, the beauty is out there. It's a big car though to clean all alone when you like wipe it off after, you know. But uh, turned out great. And then I just have to say, I just made dinner. So we did... Oh, what's up, girl? What's up? You want kiwi? She's a bit allergic to kiwi, but she always wants to eat it. So we have this like, it doesn't look like much, but this. This like tortellini with like mushroom and spinach sauce, ricotta, blah blah blah. And uh, yeah, kiwi, but you cannot have kiwi, Elskling. You can have some grapes. Kiwi, you're gonna bleed. Okay, you can have some of these. There you go. Yummy. Sorry, I got a bit distracted. Uh, but we ordered, uh, so I'm gonna do a collaboration with HelloFresh in my podcast. So I was like, no, but now I have to order and just try it out before. Like, I have never really tried it, except eating meals from it when someone makes it for me. So now I tried it. It's so easy. I loved it. Like, different dishes. Like, I would never come up with this. So, uh, yeah. Really nice. Will you eat Go for it. Usually I cut them in half, but... Okay. So now the team is here from the Center Mal team, and they're gonna do some garden work. <laughs> and uh, later tonight I'm gonna do, like, a... Tan, you know, so I feel fresh because we're also gonna do some uh, photo shoots this uh, week when some people from the brand are here already So it's like nice to do it as well. So yeah, we're gonna take some photos But I'm not gonna bring you on that because then you'll have to just see it on Cinemal, but yeah, it's a busy week but it's like you go to meetings and uh, Photo shoots and stuff in the day and then you come home with the kids and then it's also like full-on So I just try to like puzzle life together, but it's great Right you guys have a lot of fun yeah, we have a lot of fun. Okay, now I'm gonna just give this girl some uh, attention. So, kids are asleep. I just did like a tan. <laughs> so I'm waiting for this to... I just did it, so I'm gonna have it on for like three hours. What is it now? It's seven. Kids are asleep. And my night routine is like, the kids are asleep. Now it's not that messy, but quite messy for someone who likes it organized. So then I like, when they go to sleep, I clean up everything. I prepare the coffee machine, I vacuum everywhere, like the playroom, everything, like all the shoes I put them in and you know, so it's nice and fresh and clean. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Fancy, huh? No, but it's such a nice feeling. I love cleaning, as you probably know by now. So, okay, let's do it. I'm gonna listen to a podcast right now, listening to Alice and Clara's. It's only in Swedish though, but in Swedish, I think it's called Vafan Hände, but yeah. Look for it if you're Swedish and want to listen. It's fun. Okay, let's go. is almost ready to get washed off. Now I'm gonna make a little night snack. I love night snacks. Just a tiny little thing to like eat before going to bed. So I'm gonna make some tea. Just like this. So the tea, as we say in Swedish. So yummy. I'm just gonna do a typical Swedish snack just so you guys can see what I'm probably weird to a lot of Swedish people too making the snack, but I love it. So we have a cracker bread. This is my favorite Swedish caviar, and then cheese on top. So good. So good. If you're in Sweden and you haven't tried it, try it. It's like this what do you say? Salty, sweet, crunchy in one. So good. And then cheese on top. And this is such a Swedish cheese. We're so used to like the pre-sliced ones, but here you have to do this cheese, you know, with this. Mm. Cheers. Okay. 
try it. It's probably like, you know, Vegemite for Australians. Swedish caviar. Obsessed. Okay. So guys, now I just had a shower and I'm gonna go to bed to my little babies. Can't wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you soon. Tomorrow I'm going to Beyonce concert and I'm so excited. Okay, see you soon.